we're late. It is, it is just how it is. But maybe that's how it was always meant to be. Maybe we were always meant to be late. I kind of generally have lived my life like that a lot of the time. It's not good, but if this show tells us anything so far, it's that you're on your own path for a reason. And if you try and change it, you're going to get zapped up and you might get killed by an overlord. Hey, no rage with the comic game! Hey, no, we go on Sensei! Just, just take it. Just nonsense. Sensei, God of Mischief, Loki. Maybe there's some connection there. No. Maybe there's some connection there. No. All right, but Loki episode one, the review is happening right now, and I'll tell you, a lot of stuff happened. Also, not a lot of stuff happened. I like some things. I didn't like other things. But overall, it's pretty good. I really like it as of yet. I think Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston have already proved to be a great pair together. Yeah. Some of these scenes were funny yet uncomfortable to watch because of the way that they were batting against <laughs> each other. The dead air between the yeah. scenes is like, oh, but it actually is good yeah. for the characterization of both of them. So I like that. Also, Marvel being like therapy, always therapy. That's basically what happened in this episode. Yeah. Owen Wilson was like, who are you? And Loki was like, I'm the god of mischief, baby. And he was like, no, but you're basically a nobody. But this is, see, this is the thing that I don't get, right? Yeah, go on. He basically was like, Loki, you're not the main character. Yeah. Okay? You're the side bitch. You are the side. <laughs> but he also was like, Loki, you're a variant. Oh, I'm a dangerous variant. No, you're not a dangerous variant. You're a pussycat. <laughs> you're a pussycat. <laughs> what? But, but the guy we're going after, he's a dangerous variant. But that's you? What does that mean? Uh, I don't what, know. What, you're 100 percent right. What does that mean? They're the same. Maybe one is slightly better. Maybe this other Loki is more powerful somehow. Maybe they have more magical abilities than the Loki we know. But that was a bit weird. I don't get it. I feel like there are there are too many overarching questions here. Mm. There was one thing that we both didn't like when the moment they said it. Which part? Paperweight. Oh yeah. Yeah, the things with the Infinity Stones, you just voided the entire first three phases of the MCU. Like it didn't even matter yeah. by having the Infinity Stones in a drawer of a HR consultant. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do with that? That was the biggest gripe I had with the episode. Other than that, there was a lot of world building they were doing. Yeah. They were trying to really give you all the context you needed without being too heavy handed. But they were inevitably heavy handed with the TVA, the history, mm -hmm. what they're trying to do with the Sacred Timeline. But the paperweights thing, it's like, where do you go from here in the MCU? Because what I thought with phase four commencing was either you're going to go way smaller mm -hmm. with the villains and way smaller scaling down the world and start up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or you're just going to go, wow, what the fuck is going on here? We're going huge. We're going bigger than Thanos. And clearly the villain in phase four has to be bigger than Thanos yeah. if the Infinity Stones don't even matter. Plus, they didn't have any magical abilities in the yeah, TVA. I don't get this. But I'm not sure if they're considered magic. Yeah, this is the thing. He was like, there's no magic here. And Loki looks out onto like the TVA world yeah. and he's like, what is this? Like, this is an illusion, right? Because it, it's so far into the future, sort mm. of. And it made me think about when Thor was talking about magic. So what he says to Jane is, what you call magic is just science, right? And Asgardians were just super ahead in some ways mm. of Midgardians, Us, Earthlings. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for this, Loki can't use his magic. The Infinity Stones are useless. Mm. There were these intricacies with this multiverse. For this to work, all those things that happened were meant to happen. The problem is, and I think the thing that's going to happen with this show in the long term, maybe there'll be a season two, maybe there won't, is that Loki is going to mess this up. I said that in the trailers. He's going to destroy the idea of the sacred timeline. And that is what's going to cause Wanda to be doing the thing she's doing, mm -hmm. cause the multiverse of madness to happen in mm -hmm. Doctor Strange and allow Spider-Man to be jumping through different realities right. in No Way Home. So this, when Kevin Feige said this is the big setup that is going to really impact the MCU in different ways, this is like, no, this is world changing for the MCU and it will impact the movies a huge deal. See, I don't, I don't, I get it and I don't because I understand that there's this sacred timeline mm. and all these other timelines are insignificant in comparison as long as things in those timelines don't affect the main timeline, yeah. it's fine. And that's where Loki becomes the variant. Yeah. Who is this other Loki? Yeah, this other Loki's from another timeline. Another timeline. Not the sacred timeline. But if someone from a non-sacred timeline is too much of a variant, then they can actually affect the sacred timeline by jumping into the sacred timeline. And then it right. affects the sacred timeline if a variant from another multiverse comes into the sacred timeline. Right, I understand right? that. And I get it. Right. My question is, 
is this villain Loki yeah. a Loki from a different timeline or is this Loki in the future of current Loki understanding that if he picks up these charges he can change the timeline is it just him nah, in the future I don't future? think so I don't think so I think it's a different timeline Loki I don't think really? it's him it, well, it might be it you're be. right it could be I don't really see that working because I don't think you can have he's been plucked out of time and pulled to the TVA so how could there be another Loki from his timeline in that space a future version of Loki but it's not because He's pulled out of the timeline now. No, but... It can't future... be a future version of that Loki because can't... he's already been pulled out of the timeline. But from... But then if he's been pulled out of the timeline, then shouldn't the current Loki in the, the main character in the show, Loki, should he not exist then? No, because he's been pulled out and he's in the TVA. Yes. The TVA is above no, time and space. I understand that, but because the future Loki is using... No, but we don't TV... know. No, 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 no stop no, saying future saying... Loki. Stop saying fine, future Loki. Because, it's not future okay, Loki. Fine. No, what I'm saying is because there's Vidin Loki and he's using TVA materials, maybe he is a future Loki. That's my point. Not, not from this timeline. That's what I'm no, saying. No, he can't be from this timeline. But how do we don't, no, we don't no, understand no. the magic? He can't be Loki from this timeline, the sacred timeline, because he doesn't exist because he's with the TVA. No. There can't be two Lokis from the same timeline existing in the same timeline. It has to be one Loki from this timeline and one Loki from another timeline. So one Loki, the evil Loki, even though Loki is technically evil at this point, the evil Loki has come into the sacred timeline and is messing up the sacred timeline and is messing up timelines all over. That must be what's happening. Because there can't be two Lokis surviving at the same time from the same timeline because it doesn't make any sense. No, but because he he's currently in the TVA and that's above time and time works differently there, maybe it can work. <sighs> It does work differently there. They've said that. I don't buy it though. I don't think you can have two people from the same timeline exist. I don't think that works. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll then at the out. same time, we don't know anything, do we? In the episode, when yeah. Loki was coming face to face with his future. Yeah. And, you know, Owen Wilson was like, this is your future. And he was like, no, it's not. Where's my mother? And he was <sighs> like, I'm ready to fight you for her, which was very, very sweet. Yeah. And then where that goes and him realizing that everybody dies and his father accepts him and then yeah. he dies the way that he dies and mm. it sort of dawns upon him his insignificance in this great timeline. The thing is, I don't think that the stones were necessary to switch him like that. Mm. I think just seeing his own death could yeah. have done that. And the stones being used in that way, I think kind of detracts from what they were. They basically are worthless at this point. The question is, are the variants not, not meant to be there? Like, what if part of the sacred timeline is that the variants are meant to be there and the sacred timeline itself is not correct? Like, what if there are problems with the sacred timeline and the variants that are coming in are not actually not meant to be there, they're there to break things up eventually? And Loki is one of those variants. And maybe if this is another Loki, maybe there have been like three or four Loki variants before, which is why that person came to Owen Wilson and said, we've got this, like it was a, a thing they maybe have seen before. Yeah. So oh. maybe there've been two or three Loki variants before and they're aware that they do cause mischief on the timeline. Maybe. I mm, There's a possibility there. But I feel like this is going to be a, a really hard one to swallow for MCU fans because they've basically put everything previous in the dustbin, guys. Which is kind of, which is very sad because a lot of people have a lot of emotions and memories connected to these stories. And you're like, yeah, Iron Man's death uh, wasn't necessary because they're paperweights. You know, well, it was necessary no, I, because no, otherwise they would have stopped I understand it. that it was necessary for the timeline yeah. and these guys are the main characters. Yeah. But it just seems a bit... I do feel there's some Ugh. shady shit going on the TVA, though. There's yeah. some stuff which isn't right. Like these lizard gods. Where are they? We don't know. There's so much to go off of here. There's so little to go off of as well. Episode two. Hopefully, they'll give us more context. Hopefully, they'll give us more structure. And at least Tom Hiddleston is good in this show. Anyway, guys... If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Loki himself gonna come after you. What will you be if Loki comes after you? Dead. You'd be loki oh, if Loki'd. Loki comes after you. You don't want that. Do they want that? No. Well, you don't want to be dead either. No, you don't fair. want to be dead either. You really don't want that. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the I'm Comic. India. She's been on Sensei. You've been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content. So hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the Bagwas. Bagwas means nonsense. Imp and jobby. And we also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same. 
Slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh.